hey, it's a short week. You're finishing a project today. There's a tiny little demo. Welcome to week four, day one. Yay. Here's what we're going to do today. Uh, you're going to do any finishing touches on your Curry Nuki vessel because it is due today. I'm going to go over the grading criteria. I'm going to demo for you. You're going to submit a video of your cup or bowl. You're going to submit an artist statement for your vessel. Then you're going to re-wedge and rehydrate the clay that you carved in this project so we can reuse it on something, a project after break. Also, if you want me to fire your curry nuki vessel, box it up, uh, cushioned in some plastic bags, uh, stick $1 in the box if you have it, although there is a fund to be able to cover the firing fee if anyone is um, needing that covered for them. And you can bring that in today or tomorrow or after break if you want me to fire it. Leave it on the cart outside the ceramics room with your name on the box. If you choose to glaze, or sorry, if you choose to fire your you know me or your Chawan or your mug, we're gonna dip glaze those po uh, projects. And so these are some of the glazes that we have. Uh, the glazes we're gonna use uh, create this nice cascading effect. So the, um, the glazes look and the pots look very professional looking, not, um, not like elementary school pots at all. So this is what I'm grading you on for this project. You do not have to write this part down. So first, uh, is your vessel clearly a Unomi, a Chawan, or a mug? Next, are the walls carved to consistent thickness top to bottom and all the way around? Next, is the lip carved to be neat, level, and consistent within reason? If you're doing curry nuki, your lip might not be 100% flat and level, and that's okay. That's within reason. The foot should be centered and consistent thickness all the way around. There should be a clear aesthetic, either clean or wabi-sabi, shown throughout the entire vessel, including the handle and the foot. All surfaces should either be smoothed, which would be the clean aesthetic, so you smooth everything really, really well, or they should be softened, which would be the wabi-sabi aesthetic. That's where you take your sponge and you just kind of tone down some of those sharpest parts, okay? You're not smoothing it entirely, you're just softening the hard edges. Your initials and class number are gonna be carved on the bottom of this vessel, and then you're gonna record a 360 degree video using a stable recording device, please, um, that shows your vessel from all sides for at least five seconds per side and is around 30 seconds long. There were a lot of videos that people took of their animals where the animal or the video was like 12 seconds long and you didn't show me the top and you didn't show me the bottom. And I can't grade those parts of your pot if you don't show me those parts. So there's a lot of people that lost points because their video simply didn't show me everything they had done. So make sure that you shoot a 30 second video, five seconds per side, including the top and the bottom. The second part of what you'll do today is you'll write your artist's statement. So I have given you a template, again, just like I did for the last project, and you simply have to copy and paste this into a Word document, fill in the blanks, and then submit it as your artist statement. So that's worth 20 points. This is the part I do want you to write, please. So on the next clean page in your notebook, please write week four, day one and write down the steps so that you remember what it is that you must do today. Pause the video, write down these steps. Great. So first you're gonna finish carving, smoothing, and softening your vessel if you haven't done that yet. You were technically supposed to do that on Friday, but if you didn't, just do it today. Then carve your initials and hour number on the bottom using your uh, opened up paper clip. Then record your 30 second long, 360 degree video of your vessel showing all sides. Make sure your recording device is stable and then submit that to Schoology for 50 points. Copy the artist statement that's on Schoology now and fill in the blanks about your vessel and submit that document for 20 points. Either pack up your vessel to bring in for firing or add your vessel to your bag of dry clay if you want it recycled. Uh, although I would probably not recycle and crush and break your project until you're sure it's been graded. So if you want, you can just let it dry out on your workspace and then finally recycle it once you know you've got a grade. Because in case you have to re-record your video, that would be horrible if you've already broken your project. Uh, then please wedge all the little clay shavings that you've been saving in that baggie, wedge them up and then put them in your good clay bag and put a new wet paper towel over the clay in that bag and then seal that bag up to keep it hydrated over break. 
And then finally, please clean up your workspace. Get it all ship shape and nice and neat and even for when we come back to working with clay after break. Okay, here's a demo video. Watch this to summarize those steps. Okay, so today your first step is to either smooth or soften uh, and to finish carving anything on your uh, on your vessel. So if you're doing a clean aesthetic, just make sure everything is polished up as clean as possible. Inside, outside, handle, foot, everything. Super duper clean. If you're doing a curry or a um, wabi-sabi, you're just softening. So you're looking for those areas that might be kind of sharp, running a sponge over that surface, just so it's not sharp. You don't want to soften it to the point of it losing its character. You just want to make sure that if you were to fire this, nothing would cut you. All right, that's key. So we do want to soften some of those sharp edges and brush away those little boogers, those little spurs that are there. Just lightly brush them away, and that's what I mean by softening. Um, if you have any further carving to do, use your spoon, because uh, your carving is probably going to be done on the inside now. So scoop out those areas that might be still kind of thick, especially the lip. The lip is the most important part to get nice and consistent and even and, um, at, you know, uh, so it looks good from the, the top. Even if it's not really good the whole way down, it should present the illusion of looking good all the way down. Um, when you're done with that, please take your paperclip tool and carve your initials and your hour number in the bottom. Then you're ready to record your video. So your video should look something like this. Stabilize your recording surface or your recording device. Uh, it would be nice if you put your object on your little lid from your slip containers because it will help you pivot the, that object. So just turn it really slowly, five seconds per side. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And so on and so on. I just want to really be able to take in all the sides of your project. Okay, see, I really should smooth that up more. Oops. Then it's going to be really important that you show me the top for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The bottom for five seconds. So don't rush this. I know it feels awkward to just stand there and be recorded for like such a long period of time, uh, but that's what it takes for me to be able to really see the work that you've done. You know, you can even zoom in and show me your initials on the bottom. That's what it's going to take for you to get the best possible grade because then I can really spend a lot of time looking at what you've done and really appreciating all your hard work and that you've done all the things that I mentioned that you needed to do. Then you're going to do your artist statement, which is posted on Schoology and or will be posted on Schoology. And um, so you're just going to fill in the blanks in whatever word processing application you like and then upload that to Schoology. And then that's it for your, your work for today or for the, the project work for today. Um, you're going to pack it up in a box with the plastic bags around it, put a dollar in there if you have it, and then that could be something you bring in for me to fire. Or if you don't want to fire it, you can just throw it in your recycled clay bag. Not your good clay bag, the recycled clay bag. Then, it's my little wedging table. This is all the clay that I've been saving up throughout this project, and it's wrapped in a wet paper towel that is starting to decompose a little bit. So little bits of my wet paper towel are kind of stuck to the clay. So do the best you can to pick all that paper towel off and then throw this away. This has lost its structural integrity and it's just going to keep breaking down. So just throw that in the garbage. Take that clay that uh, that should be pretty soft. It should be pretty plastic now from being wrapped in that um, in that wet paper towel and in the baggie. So just slam it down a couple of times so all those shavings really bond together. And then ram's head wedge. Okay, and that is going to go in your good clay bag. Get a new wet paper towel. This one was already ready to go. Lay that on top of your clay that you put inside there. And then get your twist tie and seal up this bag for the break. Because imagine how terrible that would be if you come back in two weeks and all your clay is super dry. That would be a tragedy beyond words. Actually, I would just have you come into school and get new clay. It wouldn't be that bad, but why have the hassle, right? Just wrap up your project really well uh, so that it doesn't dry out uh, over break. 
And uh, those are your steps for today. That's what you're going to be doing. So the last thing I want to mention, you now know what you're doing today. So this is what we're going to do tomorrow. Uh, if you are interested in checking out the itty bitty tiny pottery wheel, we're going to have an itty bitty tiny pottery lottery tomorrow. So reach out to me today and let me know if you want to check out one of our tiny pottery wheels and I'll put your name in the lottery and we'll draw names tomorrow in our class. Then we're going to have a little tea party since we've been talking about uh, Japan and their tea ceremony and Ch Chawan and you know me. Uh, so we're going to, uh, I want you to have a little uh, toasty beverage, maybe a, a cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, uh, maybe a glass of juice, whatever, uh, so we can toast each other in, uh, in our class tomorrow. And we'll play some games. And uh, tomorrow after class, you know, you can finish up any late work. If you need to turn things in tomorrow, that's fine. Um, and then we'll have our final assignment of 2020. So that's what's happening tomorrow. The big thing to remember, uh, tea party, bring your nice beverage to class, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, toast to each other's health for 2020. Um, also, last minute um, pickups. If you glazed your animal uh, yesterday, last week, they will be out and ready to be picked up outside of my classroom throughout the school day on Tuesday. So you could stop by and find your box. It'll have your animal packed in it and you can take it home if you glazed last week. All right. That's it for today. Thanks so much. Have fun.